I haven't had the chance of meeting. Uh, my name is Matthew Bradley, um, and I coordinate what we call the NFP Hub. Um, there's a couple of slides up uh, behind me. Um, the Hub was created about two years ago from a network of individuals and professionals that, that I knew that could add value to the not-for-profit community. Um, my background in the not-for-profit world has come out of fundraising, uh, building organisations around the community organisation space, and normally raising money for a purpose. Um, and uh, three or four years ago, I uncovered that perhaps we could help the NFPs in addition to raising money for them, also with their operational efficiencies. Uh, and that's where the NFP Hub uh, was created. Um, and in fact, uh, Nigel Harris is with us today from the MARTA. Uh, was, I met in my early, uh, early positioning, my journey about you know, how we could help not-for-profits. This is Let's Have a Coffee, the Nigel turns into lunch with my 30 dearest friends. So thank you, Nigel, for taking my phone call. Um, so just a bit more about the Hub. So we're all about efficiency for not-for-profits. Um, one of my early clients was Deb over at uh, Carers Queensland which is a key driver in the NDIS space, and they grew to, to support the NDIS infrastructure some years ago, which meant they went from an office in Brisbane having seven or eight regional offices throughout Queensland. And it was Deb who said to me that if she could save a dollar, that was far more effective than trying to raise three. Um, and she was kind enough to write something that basically she said that story. And as a fundraiser and, a, and an event organiser, that really resonated, that the CEO could see dollar saved versus three dollars made, I'll take the savings next week because it's a much lower cost to organisation than trying to raise the money. And that's really been the driver for the you know, for what we're doing at the Hub. Um, and it's all about, our message to NFPs is uh, be open to new ways of doing things. Uh, NFPs are a slow moving beast by their nature, um, they're risk averse, they're under resourced and they don't act quickly, which is quite different to the world of SMEs, which is where I come from, where we think, act, shoot and move on. Um, that's not the culture of working within the NFP space. Um, and another day we'll have a session on the psychology of NFPs, um, which will help us all you know, understand the, the environment in which they operate. Um, but it's all about sharing expertise from the private sector back to the NFP sector. And there's lots of good ideas. Um, the hub over the years has grown to a whole combination of experts, and every month the, the network grows. Um, and this is just an example of how we bring our team to the table. And when I meet a CFO typically, or a CEO at NFP, and I look at what they're doing and where they're at and what their major cost centers are, I can normally identify from experience where I think the hub can help. Um, and the big ones are in the, uh, the dark red, you know, electricity telcos, which are core fixed almost cost, um, uh, copies and equipment, property maintenance, you know, cyber security and IT. Uh, they're the hot numbers, or the, hot, the hot services, that all the NFPs have, no matter whether they're very small or very big. Um, go back one. Um, and, and today we're working with probably, there's probably four NFPs with, you know, I'm currently working with at the moment. Um, uh, one's an NGIS disability services company, turns over about $30 million a year. Uh, they're probably the savings of $100,000 to $200,000 a year, um, which is not significant, but it's still valuable to that organisation in terms of what they can do. Um, there's private hospitals and local councils where the savings will be one to two million dollars. 